Ladies and gentlemen, I come to you with some bad news. Oh. Uh, small Friday, a very good friend of mine, posted pictures of some Ghanaian diasporas living in South London. With a caption, which was sad. I applied and she sent me a link. Ladies and gentlemen, please listen as I read. Suspect 28, who stabbed family to death, is in hospital after being tasered and arrested. Oh. After one mother, 64, her partner 58, her daughter 45, her 27 year old granddaughter were killed at their London home. Delay Hill was one of four people found dead at a house in uh, Bevel's Day, southeastern London, yesterday morning. She died with partner Denton Burke, daughter Taisha Drummond's, granddaughter Samantha Drummond's. Met police detective were called at 1.40 a.m. First entry and found four people with fatal stab injury. One man in his twenties has been arrested on suspicion of murder and taken to a police station in South London. Local residents said that around 1.30 they heard a woman screaming for about five minutes. So, to give a bit of context, this lady, um, Samantha, who is the granddaughter, um, had this boyfriend and according to sources, she introduced the boyfriend to the family that day and uh, that was the first time they were meeting and uh, the boyfriend, I don't know the motive behind it, told the family. Anyway, I have an additional video which um, I would play, so uh, just, you know, keep watching and I'll let that come back on my commentary. 64-year-old Dollet Hill was a kind and loving grandmother, a retired housekeeping assistant at a hospital pharmacy. Seen here with her daughter, Tanisha Oforia Kufo. Tanisha was a 45-year-old nurse and mother to 27-year-old Samantha Drummonds. Three generations at the home Dollet shared with her partner, 58-year-old Denton Burke, when all four of them were stabbed to death. Speaking exclusively to ITV News, Tanisha's husband Danny says he's not been able to eat or sleep since he was told they'd been killed. I can live without Tanisha. Um, I don't know how I'm going to live again. I don't know where I'm going to start my life and end up with it. I can't live without her. I'm totally destroyed. I'm totally finished. As police investigations continue into the killings on Delaford Road, friends and family have been gathering to lay flowers, light candles and comfort one another. Neighbours say Dollett and Denton were a quiet and happy couple. One friend who knew Samantha through the local church spoke of his devastation. Kind, loving, caring people. Wouldn't hurt us all. None of them. All God-fearing people, do you know what I mean? More details have emerged about what happened when police were called to the disturbance at 1.40 yesterday morning. When officers arrived at the property, there was no response, and so they forced entry, concerned about the safety of those inside. They found four people who appeared to have been stabbed, and also a fifth man. They used a taser to detain him and arrested him on suspicion of murder. The man, who is 28 and from Lewisham, is being treated in hospital and is in a stable condition. He remains under arrest. Martha Fairley, ITV News, Southwark. Aww. As I speak to you, uh, we still don't know the motive behind uh, the guy's attacks. We don't know whether it was mental illness or maybe uh, out of anger. We don't know anything. And I've been crying and crying. I still haven't gotten any issue, um, any um, development. So, I mean, if they come out with it, I'll update you. And uh, the only thing I have to say is... Uh, the diasporas out there, Ghanaian diasporas out there, African diasporas out there, please be careful and uh, watch the people you bring to your homes. The name is ADB and I'm out. And we say bye bye!